Our correspondent Hermione Kitson has a preview. Mamadou Kouassi is grateful to call Italy home, but his journey from the Ivory Coast to the island of Lampedusa was one of unimaginable hardship, and the scenes of suffering still haunt him. To remember the same scene, not be able to save a woman that was dying in front of me, and these are some things that we can never, never forget. So, and it was hard. His story of survival is the inspiration behind the Oscar-nominated film Io Capitano. It documents his three-year odyssey as a teenager through the African desert and the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> Director Matteo Garone says he wanted to turn the camera around to humanize the rising death toll on the shores of Italy. The only see that people are arriving with the boat, but before arriving, the journey that we used to, um, uh, to face in the desert, in the Mediterranean Sea, in the prison, so for me, it, it was important to... Um, to use this like an instrument to explain to the whole world. Now, the 40-year-old father of two works as a cultural mediator in the city of Caserta, where he's become a local hero. To be an icon means to be an example that all, after that fighting, that all the difficult that, that we face, is, we, there is a hope. There is a hope. Last year, Italy received a record number of arrivals from the Mediterranean, and migrants continue to embark on the life-threatening journey. To deal with the influx, the EU announced reforms to its migration policy, and Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney made a deal with Albania for offshore processing. But Mamadou says governments are still not listening, and hopes an Oscar could finally make their voices heard. It would be also one of the greatest achievements and it will also uh, give a view to the European Union to change the policy of migration. And I'm sure. Hermione Kitson, CGTN, Caserta, Italy.